What's going on everybody, Deal or No Deal here, and today I'm playing Team Deathmatch on Firing Range, using the MP5K with a red dot sight. Either the LOL or the Strella is my launcher, but either way I have something to take down air support. And my perk setup is Scavenger, Sled of Hand, and Marathon. Anyways, this is a running gun class, running around really fast, jumping in people's faces, getting a whole bunch of kills. And this commentary is going to be different from my usual stuff. It's going to be strictly gameplay. I don't have any other topics to talk about, and I want to just commentate over gameplay. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So I ran around the back of that bottom ramp there, thinking other enemies would try to get there to get the uh, upper hand on us, but no one went down there. And as you notice, not finding too many kills. Everyone keeps dying. So I'm trying to go in high traffic areas. This whole trailer and over here is usually a good spot. Uh, where I was before, that bottom ramp is usually pretty popular too. But still no success. So I'm going to come in here, because a lot of people tend to camp in this building. And I'm going to set up my claymore in this little section right here, because I pretty much always get a kill with the claymore there. And I'm going to continue my lap around the map. As I've said before, by running laps around the outer edge of the map, you're going to get a good amount of kills, and you're going to avoid dying a lot. So that's my tactic. So now the spy plane's up, and I see a whole bunch of dots. I'm going to catch this dude unguarded. And I noticed the other guy's coming right up behind me. Get ready, and bam, got that. So now I got my spy plane, and I'll use that well right now. So now it's going double speed, so it'll be a little bit more accurate when I find people on the radar. And I'm gonna go to the other side of the map where the enemy team is spawning. The spawn flipped, and I want to get a whole bunch of kills. I promise you, the gameplay will speed up. Right over here, see a dude. I didn't aim down my sights, and I got an assist for it. And I'll see another guy over here. I was pretty precise, but once again, another assist. And that guy dies, because I'm just having bad luck. Picks up later, though. So I'm running over here. Once again, as I said, high traffic area. And as I can see, there's a, a bunch of people over here. This guy dies. But there's more just right up this ramp. But I'm going to go around through the building. Because by going up that ramp, one, I'm allowed because I'm not using Ninja. Two, it's a really long range sight, so I'll, I can just get shot. And even if I hide in that little niche, they know where I am, a simple grenade will kill me. So by going up that middle ramp, going through the building, is a much better tactic. And I'm going to come over here because, what, as I said earlier, another high traffic area. I find this to be probably the most popular spot. If they're not inside this trailer, they're on the other side. And oftentimes they'll spawn at that house and run through that alley. So it's best to stay around here, and as you'll see, I start picking a few kills. I got this guy, who almost got me, but I was able to survive. Chuck a grenade, hoping I can get someone. But I'll aim down my sights behind this wall. By staying behind the wall, I can uh, avoid dying. And I got my Blackbird. So once the Blackbird's up, you know high kill streaks are going to come, because you probably won't die. And as I can see, these people are coming my way, so I want to go prone to avoid them hitting a larger area. By going prone, you know, it's harder to hit me. And then I can, you know, just wait for them. It's not camping if I only wait for a couple seconds. So I'm waiting for this guy. He's hiding behind his care package, but I don't want to get too risky. And then there's this dude. So I really got to be careful because I'm so close to my high kill streaks. Got him. And him. I have my gunship, but I don't want to use it right away. I believe I wait. Because the Blackbird's still up. That's a good tactic to use. If your Blackbird's still up, why let it go to waste? I know it helps you get the higher kill streaks, but don't let it waste. Besides, this match isn't close to ending. It's only at 4,700 right now. So I'm going to run around a little while longer, trying to get a few more kills. And right now the Blackbird's gone, so now I'm thinking, okay, now I can call this uh, gunship in soon. I was going to do it in here, and dude kills me. Probably would have gone flawless if it wasn't for that one guy, but oh well. So now I'm in the perfect spot. There's not a lot of whole people around here. So I'm going to call on my gun... Oh, wait, can't, because there's a chopper in the air. So I figure, all right, I'm going to run around and get a few more kills since I can't call on my gunship. No point in just waiting and keep spamming that button. Besides, it's not going to go away, so might as well just keep getting more kills. The match isn't close to ending anyways. So I see there's a whole bunch of people down here. So I'm going to run down here. And uh, I'm going to get that guy first because I could have gotten the other two. But that guy could have probably killed me. And it's really important to take out the people who pose a greater threat to you. So I'd rather miss a kill rather than... And, and, and um, Excuse me. I'd rather miss two kills and avoid dying. So that's the tactic. Because you want to die the least amount. Because your kill streaks will help you a lot more. 
if you get two kills and then die once, you're never gonna get a kill streak. But let's say you get one kill but don't die, you know, you're slowly building it up. So I am doing crazy work on my gunship. I'm surprised no one's shooting me down. Uh, I don't really use this kill streak too much because I feel for 11 kills just to get shot down is a waste. But this team wasn't too too great, and that's it. That's it for the gameplay. Um, please rate this commentary accordingly if you liked it or disliked it. Also, let me know what you think about me just commentating gameplay instead of talking about a specific topic. And also, if you like this commentary and want to see future ones from me, please subscribe. Final score was 28-1.